Hello everybody, this is Joe with the Idaho Auction Barn and I have got a contents auction for you all. This is the entire house full um, and it is a lot of nice things. Um, there is, just let me uh, paraphrase, there is a smell of smoke. Um, I don't think it's horrific smoke, but I do smell smoke. So, you know, like the upholstered stuff, um, I don't see like a heavy coating of nicotine on anything, but I can smell it. So anyway, uh, moving through the house, she was a collector and uh, she had a lot of collections of different types of things. I'm gonna try and show you a little bit here. We got some Coca-Cola and she liked the, those are kind of cool. So I'm not gonna be able to show you everything in the house, but I'll try and give you a good, a good overview. Cool looking egg. Um, there's a Bev Doolittle. Got another Bev Doolittle. So they're selling the house. They need everything out of the house. And time frame, they just, this is kind of their only option was to let one buyer take it all. So look at all these are, um, Standing Firm from Mill Creek Studios. Mill Creek Studio Collections. There, got the wolf. She's got a lot of the old Western collectibles. A lot of them are limited editions. That's a pretty neat, uh, looks like a hand-painted eagle on there. I know it's just a little bit dark. Bottle capper. Um, TV end table it's a very nice home and it is a lot of all the furniture everything guys so look at the nice little wash stand in here we've got the uh, entertainment center and this is also her showcase again we've got all the statues look at that bear all the statues up in here limited edition western pottery That is uh, Mikasa. Hey, there's another bear statue in there. Oak table and chairs. Uh, I'll go ahead and bring you through the back bedrooms. Got the bedroom set here. Some costume jewelry. And again, we've got the drawers full as well. Hey, look at this watch. There's an old Disney watch. Guys, this, this is, again, this is just going to be a really cool estate. Well worth your time and effort. Who knows what all we're going to find in here. The family took the personal papers and that's all. Um, everything else is still here. She was a, a arts and crafter and there's a lot of arts and crafts that we'll come into later. But look at the quilts in there. And then this entertainment center couch. And of course the clothes, the leather cowboy hat. You never know, I have found, I've found um, pretty nice clothes in, uh, in closets like that. Shoot, the last estate we ended up finding a few brand new Pendletons that ended up selling really, really well. So uh, I, I have not looked through these closets. I'm just showing you, I just got here probably about 15, 20 minutes ago. I'd looked a little bit before giving them uh, to see what they had. Singer sewing machine. I think it's got the singer in there. Yep, the sewing machine is in there. Sorry, I don't have both hands to open that up. I 
nice lap it's a nice laptop bag again all the Christmas supplies and whatnot and then moving around uh, let's go ahead and take you in the kitchen so look at all the Scentsy there little cabinet full of Scentsy it looks like oil can uh, the the uh, fridge and stove are not included the washer and dryer is fiesta wear fiesta wear up there guys and the collectibles there so again i'm not going to be able to show you an absolutely ever cupboard but it's going to be pretty full um, you're going to have approximately 14 days to get everything moved out um, it's basically the two weekends following the auction so I'll post it in there in the auction website what day it has to be cleaned out for there will be a deposit required a $500 cash deposit um, you got to make sure the house is neat and orderly uh, when you leave when you get it, everything taken out and again all the knickknacks cleaning supplies everything in there washer and dryer is included looks like it's a Kenmore washer and dryer there's a roommate vacuum looks like a couple of cameras up there there's the camera stand for it aqua globe so this is going to be a good one for somebody uh, move it in here so here's something that sorry it's a little bit I'm going to see if I can open the garage door get a little bit of light in here all of these books are full uh, and I'm going to show you downstairs what kind of arts and crafts it is but all of these books have got the stamp up arts and crafts stamps and everything else and downstairs in the basement I'll show you more we got the fridge freezer hey see a battery charger up there again we got some more Christmas nativity look at this bear isn't that cool uh, take a look up here we got some old stereos there's a sound design stereo um, and again don't know what those look like some really nice sleeping bags it's all, all covered up nice sleeping bag so let's go ahead and bring you downstairs and show you in the basement oh a couple more cabinets in the kitchen guys again just full that looks like farberware I'll bet you Revereware, copper bottom Revereware. There's another pot back in there. Um, looks like a frying pan as well. Oh, check this out. Look at that cast iron casserole dish. That is nice. She liked bears. Pyrex. Oh. Look at those old bowls, guys. Logan Longa L O N G A B E R G E R Pottery Logan Loga Burger No L O N G A B E R G E R Kind of hard to read, but on the pottery that looks like it's got a little age to it that's a case XX knife double X knife case double X so again, I think you're going to find some really, really neat items in this estate. Um, 
just things everywhere. Every drawer is full. Every cupboard's full. Bon Appetit, cookbooks. All right, let's take you downstairs. And I've probably missed a nook and cranny here or there. I'm trying to show you everything as best I can. So down in the basement, we have got um, Coca-Cola collectibles all through there here, CDs. Um, look at all the Scentsy candles down there. Or not Scentsy, but Yankee candles. Doo-wop, uh, audio, we got Elvis Presley Platinum. We got all the statues and everything else. Look at all the bears. Bears, bears, and more bears. Neat moose. Got the plane. Man. Oh, down underneath there. Oh, you can't really see it. It's a little bit dark. Got a bunch more candles. Statues of the deer. Elk. More Coca-Cola. Look at the old office desk. Isn't that cool? Couch, love, Indian print, Mark uh, Rorig. Looks like a signed artwork and a chalk artwork okay back in here is one of her scrap rooms for doing scrapbooking and I see all the ribbons here we have the um, stamp sets boxes full of those We've got all of the, what are those, stickers, I guess. And this is only one of the rooms. A bunch more stamps down there. Printer. All the scrapbooking on the walls. Christmas. Christmas supplies. These boxes along here. So this is all scrapbooking i don't know if you can really see that let me back up a little bit that's all scrapbooking scrapbooking brush and die sets stickers it's all full of stickers Just more and more stickers look at all the paper so here's her main scrapbooking room and i tell you what if you've ever wanted to have a uh a stock of scrapbooking here you go so underneath as you can see we've got all the the uh, ribbons and markers and uh, uh, paper pumpkin stamping kits it says this one's brand new that hasn't even been opened yet paperpumpkin.com look at all the ribbons underneath we've got all the paper down there Got this cabinet has everything in there. Stamping pad. Oh, so these are all the different color stamping pads. We got espresso, crumb cake, all chocolate chip, soft suede. Those are all the different colors. Got paint. I mean, just everywhere. All the scrapbooking you could imagine. All neatly organized. Oh, check out these guys. All of these little guys here for scrapbooking. We got all the charms for charm bracelets, making jewelry. There's some more little bracelet pieces. All organized throughout. Got little dots and buttons for putting on. Those are all full. Look at all 
down through those are brand new stands that haven't been used yet look at all these cutters back in here I think these are paper cutters if I'm not mistaken yep so those those are cutouts so that cuts out a butterfly but all the different size butterflies all the different types of stars clouds oh, look at all the wood I tell you what there's probably more scrapbooking supplies in here than are in most of the scrapbooking supply stores in town got another uh, old piece of stereo uh centrex speakers it looks like and uh a track stereo centrex stereo so that's this room in the back basement all full of scrapbooking again down the hallway all full of scrapbooking we've got some more boxes here that look i think those are empty luggage underneath the steps all scrapbooking and this is this is nice um nice brand new scrapbooking most of it is well organized if uh guys this is going to be a deal for scrapbookers for sure back over here oh is more guess what scrapbooking so i mean i can't even show you all of it here it looks like um ink all different colors of inks we got all these stamps more stamps in here these are all these are all brand spanking new those haven't even been opened yet what do we got more cutters paper crimper brand new the vacuum so that's in the back basement a little bit more outside so I'm gonna bring you outside and show you what we've got there there's just a there's only on the outside it's just on the back porch and a little bit in the dog kennel so nothing is included that's out in the um, yards I mean in the flower beds this table right here is not included that blends it was made for this area right here so please don't take that but back up here we've got this little bit just kind of stacked up right up on the patio that's included we got a Brinkman grill uh, it looks like it's a little bit short on life these sides aren't too bad I mean that side hasn't been used much you can tell which side they grilled on the most um, nice outdoor chairs outdoor table and chairs with cushions okay and then back over here there's a couple of cages on the dog kennel that's included and then in the dog kennel we've got hoses lumber there's a little windmill kind of cute windmill some more outdoor tables and there's a pony shovel nice double up pony shovel looks like but uh, anyway so guys if you have any questions give me a call there's a nice little scooter for doing your lawn yard work so this one's going to be a nice estate it is going to be a little work for you but there's going to be some nice um you know value to it all the way around if you have any questions uh, give me a call uh, otherwise we'll look forward to seeing you online thanks guys